Welcome back to Leap of Fate, the first impression series where I jump right into the action. I'm your host, Dylock, and today I got Battle Brothers for you guys. Now, this is a game I've wanted to cover for a while now, and, well, here it is, I guess. So, I've also been playing it for a while now, but today we're gonna have like two sections. We'll have a section where I do the new campaign, which is what we're gonna do like in a minute. And then I'll switch over to a campaign I've already begun and I've gotten some really, really strong warriors there. So let's get right into this. So here we are in the world of Battle Brothers. And it's a random world. That's worth noting, it's a random world each and every time. Also, we'll start with the last battle, which is a event that's scripted in every single time you start. Now, basically, we were tracking down Hogarth the Weasel, we got into an ambush and a lot of arrows flew and probably killed a lot of our men. And it also killed our commander, which means that we are second in command and we'll have to take over. Which is what we're gonna do right now. To arms! And as you'll see, this is practically scripted. He always dies. He always tries to kill him and he always dies as well. So we only have three people to try and uh, kill these with and I don't know if we can kill Hogarth he did get hit this time it's uh, a lot of random number generator stuff if you don't know what that means basically a dice gets rolled and it determines if you hit or not so you can improve the odds by leveling up though, which I'll show you in a minute, because we'll likely level up with these guys. So let's uh, cleave him, we missed. Oh god, that's, uh, that's terrible. Do we have a sword? We only have a dagger. We'll have to switch to that and we'll have to puncture. And let's try and stab him to death. You have all these little skills right here. Uh, you have round swing which would swing at every unit near you. Including uh, your own units so you'll really have to be careful using this. You also have some really cool skills like uh, split shield. If someone's wearing a shield, he's gonna likely block a lot of your attacks. However, if you have split shield, you can actually target his shield and get rid of it. You can actually break it with an axe. Axes are really good at that, so yeah. And he's dead. <laughs> It's uh, it's really brutal like this. Enemies don't have to have like a low health to uh, instantly die or something. You can have like a certain chance to cut off their heads. So here we have our loots. We also have our statistics. No one leveled up apparently. Although he did suffer a lot of damage. We found a pickaxe and a full leather cap. That's actually pretty nice, the leather cap. It's gonna help with uh, with some of the uh, blows to the head. Now we get the aftermath, you're under an inflates, blah blah blah. But now Captain is basically a little storyline right here, which I can appreciate. So we're just gonna go to Felsheim and Felsheim and gather our reward for killing Hogarth's men. 
You get a little story here as well. You kill this man, but the weasel eluded our blades. You did well, Selsor. Prisons have been removed, though it is a shame that Hogarth still lives. We expect to get paid for this. I mean, like, half our mercenary company is dead, so yeah, you would expect to get paid for it. So, here we get an offer. We could either continue to try and kill Hogarth, or we could say, now nah, we'll find our fortune elsewhere and basically go on our merry way. I say we have unfinished business because he killed a lot of our guys. So that's what we shall do. We shall gather some men, equip them and yeah, basically try to kill Hogarth. So let's try and kill his men, shall we? There we go. Got to hit in. I really love the spears because they have spear wall, which is a really, really useful ability, which I'm going to use right now. And we'll stand right next to him and then wait for our turn. They have a bowman, which is a bridge and poacher. I think Hogarth, there's Hogarth. He's uh, leading his men right there. And let's actually move this one up a bit as well. Let's uh, spear wall this as well. So if they wanna come close then yeah, they're not, not gonna get close because they'll get stabbed. You get a free attack with Spearwall. And let's uh, wait a turn. It'll save his turn until the end of the row. Same goes for this. And I'll move this guy up here, so he's a little bit protected by the shields of these guys. And let's see if we can kill this guy from range. Yep, he's dead. Crossbows can re really hit hard, but they're really hard to hit with. A bow is probably much more accurate and has a lot more range. It's uh, probably a bad thing to shoot right now. As you'll notice, there's a shield with a bolt on him. Which means he's blocking the shot at the moment. So we'll have to work around that. And we'll have to move a little bit. And we lost the dude. But hey, that's, uh, that's how it goes in uh, Battle Brothers. You lose people. So, stabby stabby. And Hogarth's dead. As well as one of our own. But hey, he was just hired, so... That's okay, I guess. But yeah, the battle for Hogarth ends right there. And we get our crowns. As promised. And then we'll be able to take on missions like this one. And I'll show that when we get into the campaign I've been working on for quite a while. So let's do that right now. So here we are in the uh, campaign I've been working on quite a while. We're currently on a mission to drive away the Bridgens. We'll have to try and kill all the bandits here. Which is what we're gonna do. So let's move in. So here we go, prepare for the attack. We actually found a Bridgent leader, which is really cool because they'll give us another 
bit of coin, actually. And you'll notice I have a lot of dudes here. But the ones I love are my bowmen, which is up there. And my crossbowmen, which is in the middle here. I don't know why, I should probably change that up a little bit. Uh, let's see, we have a bridge and trader, bridge and trader. This is a bridge and trader without a shield. However, this bush is blocking it. Uh, we might be able to hit him. Nope. I also notice that he's uh, able to reload and fire in the same turn because he has a lot of uh, fatigue that he can handle. I also have a commander, so to speak. This guy actually is the banner carrier. So he has a banner and I've actually tried to make him into a full commander type of thing. So he also has a rally ability, which will rally anyone that's trying to run away from my team. So if our team was trying to run away, it rallies them back and they get some of their morale back. There's actually a lot of things to keep in mind when doing combat. If you have like low morale, then your guys are gonna run as soon as they get surrounded or something like that which is a bad thing because if you try to run away while you're in melee then anyone that's in melee with you will get free attacks on you so that's really something you need to keep in mind you don't want to run away when you're in melee you really want to try and uh, get yourself free by killing them or just get the skill footwork or something like that and then you'll be able to get away scoff-free. There we go. There's the kill. And we get a lot of XP for this. A man steps out into the onto the road, straightens up and postures towards you. Hello, good sirs. I believe you have the head of all in the slaughter in your midst. Do not, the man smiles. Would you please kindly turn it over? So, we got a random event here for killing the uh, leader of that bandit group. And basically, this is a group of bounty hunters. And they were out for his head a long time. And they want it. They want the head. But they didn't do anything for it, except like extort us. So we can either give them the head or we'll have to deal with them, which is what we're going to do right now. So this turns into another battle and they have a few war dogs. He's really trying to use his uh, crossbow dudes there. Which I don't really like. I want to get past this. And try and kill off his crossbow dudes. He's probably going to be attacked by this guy. But that's okay. Um, yeah, he's protected by pretty much everything here. So we won that battle with quite a few casualties, which is really, really sad because it's five of my most loyal soldiers and most trained soldiers, actually. So yeah, they will be dearly missed, but that's how this game goes. You lose soldiers, you'll train some new ones and try not to get attached too much because they can be dead just like that.
So this is all the time I had for today. I would like to give some quick final impressions on the game. It's definitely a really good combat system that they have in place right here. It's really challenging. It asks of you to think a few steps ahead because if you don't, you're gonna lose a lot of your men and you don't want that. You wanna keep all your men and all your equipment if possible. I also like the idea of having food and such and needing to repair your gear, actually having to use ammunition. It makes it feel a little more uh, real, I guess. Like you also need medicine. You even need to like treat your wounds at a temple and if you don't, they might get infected or something like that. I think it, games should probably start using other types of graphics, but hey, this has its own graphic style going for it, so I can appreciate it. Other than that, uh, well, I don't really have much to say other than if you do like turn-based games, turn-based combat games, then it is definitely a recommendation. I would definitely try this out because it is just so good. So if you guys like this video, then hit that like button down below. It would also be greatly appreciated if you could leave a comment stating why you liked it or stating why you disliked it because I haven't been getting that much feedback lately and I would really appreciate it. I would also appreciate it if you could share this video with anyone you know. And if you haven't already, then please hit that subscribe button with all your might. And if you would like all of my newest episodes right into the, your mailbox, then hit that bell button right next to the subscribe button and you'll get them right into your mailbox as soon as they go up. I'll see you guys in the next Leap of Fate. Bye!